Now that we have fitted and wired the radar antenna and night vision camera to the mount, we can move on to setting up the mount on board our boat. With a basic set of tools and drill at hand, you should first determine the installation site on the roof. In our case, we have to move an existing anchor light to make way for our device holder. Loosening the screws is a quick and easy job and the bracket can be removed. Remove the cover plate under the roof to access the ceiling panel. Use a wooden plate to reinforce the GRP here so that the equipment holder can be fixed more securely. We must first remove the signal horn air pump to make space for our installation. The signal horn can easily be reinstalled at the end. Gluing the wooden panels to the ceiling will cover the mounting screws of the signal horn. Mark the position of the screws using some boat grease or a small blot of paint on the screws. Use a forstner bit to drill the holes. You can also drill the hole for the connection cables for the radar and the camera with an appropriately sized bit. We can now align the mounting plate of the unit holder on the roof by marking the position of the mounting holes and drilling through the ceiling where marked. The mounting plate should also be glued to the roof and sealed. Under the mounting plate is a spacer with which the clamps are fixed. This will make it easier to dismantle the device holder for winter storage, for example. Alternatively, the entire mount can also be tilted. However, in our case, this makes little sense according to our mounting position. Use anti-corrosion paste on the mounting plate holes. We then glue the wooden plate to the ceiling and fix it with the four through bolts of the unit holder. Now the pre-assembled unit holder is placed on the roof. The connecting cables must be routed through the opening beforehand. The holder can then be firmly attached to the mounting plate. As a final step, we want to install a VHF antenna next to the unit holder. We're using a VHF antenna with FME connectors so we can use pre-assembled cables. First, we feed the FME antenna connection cable through the mount and screw it to the antenna. The antenna is then screwed onto the mount. The antenna mount cable grommet is sealed using the plastic cone supplied. Now screw the other side of the antenna mount to the roof. To do this, we mark the holes and then drill through accordingly. Feed the antenna cable through the ceiling and seal the holes. The antenna mount is then fixed to the roof with three bolts. We have now installed a radar antenna, camera and radio antenna on our motorboat, which can then be connected.